monitor thank you very much once again for having us from another story we are grateful that you have granted us this interview Lisa, can you introduce yourself and tell us about your background sir my name is professor adeni you are not in our visit of nigeria i'm the vice chancellor of Colorado university Valley. And we would like to know how you balance your professional responsibilities with your personal life, sir. Thank you very much. Um, I started my primary school in 1971. Uh, and um, I completed it in 1976. I waited for two years before I went to secondary school. I secondary school in 1983. I went to A levels in ninety three and nineteen eighty five and subsequently I was admitted to the University of Ife, now Bafemi Aolo University to read law. Um nineteen eighty five and nineteen eighty eight. And I went to Nigerian Law School and I was called to bar in nineteen eighty nine. That's about thirty five years ago. As the solicitor and advocate of the Supreme Court of Nigeria at um, Nigerian Military Police Post Mechanized Division, Kaduna, my NYC, Nigerian Ministry of Justice, University of Ibada, as government secretariat. Uh, I was there. And I rose as a legal officer to principal legal officer before I left. 1994 to Obafemi University uh, as a lecturer, lecturer two, and I was there in 2020, 2010 when I was uh, appointed a professor of law, University of Ibadan. I was University of Ibadan from 2013 um, as an HOD of the uh, Department of Public and International Law, which later became Department of Jurisprudence and International Law. And um, I was um, elected as Dean uh, from 2014-2020 for six years as a um, Dean of Law, University of Nevada. And um, I eventually came to Oladice University to start as the Dean Faculty of Law to establish the new Faculty of Law that has just been introduced into the University. I was made the acting by Chancellor between 2020 and 2021. And uh, from 2021, August, I was appointed as substantive vice chancellor up to today. So, for a period of five years. So, that has been the background that you're asking for. Okay, sir. And um, thank you very much, sir. And um, we, uh, we want to know what your best memories of childhood are, sir. Best memories? From childhood, yes, sir. What those memories? Memories are always good. It's not like this your period. Uh, we were more or less involved in active study, um, rigorous reading. Uh, it also had its own fun, playing football uh, in that regard, and also involved in literary and debating and other forms of things. But the childhood has always been very interesting, very remarkable. Uh, we, above all, we were nurtured uh, to abide with the Word of God, whatever we do. And um, we were able to ensure that home training is upheld. Uh, we are people of good conduct, our colleagues. Uh, we so much treasure uh, traditions and whatever they desire. But more or less, there is a need for discipline uh, in what they do 
uh, they should also have the fear of God. Uh, and then, we are whichever religion they believe in, they must be able to uphold the tenets of good conduct, moral conduct, of high integrity, and uh, they must shun all vices, uh, especially drug abuse, uh, bullying one another, and other forms of uh, activity. So, for every young one of nowadays, I think research is easier nowadays than in the past. So, uh, they can make use of the ICT and technology to advance their weight of knowledge and uh, using it positively to, you know, develop themselves in their various fields of endeavors and going beyond what is given to them by their lecturers. Uh, because for a person to aspire to be a first class or understanding student, he needs to give more than what the lecturer has given them in the class uh, to be able to merit outstanding results in that regard. So there's a need to be hardworking, resourceful, and to be people of good integrity and conduct and abide with the rules and regulations of the various institutions of learning or wherever they are, ensuring that uh, learning and char character and culture, they operate tenaciously and ensure that they do things in accordance with the law and order of the society. Well, it's a matter of personal interest. All along, I used to be uh, very determined. Uh, even though I started as a science student when we were in secondary school. Uh, but eventually, uh, when I go to Form 3 then, I changed. Uh, to arts and humanities generally uh, and then from that time upwards I was resolute in my mind to uh, uphold that and I was very good in some courses or subjects like government, uh, economics, uh, Christian religious studies and other arts subjects so I invariably I went to A-levels and I did very well and I believe that I should go for law, which because I believe is a program that I can be professionalized. No, can be professionalized. So that's part of what I have to see can be professionalized. So that's part of what I believe makes me to for me. Yes, any other question? And um, sir, there is a saying that goes thus that every person should be able to identify what he or she likes, do it more, and create value, and will remain happy for the rest of his or her life. In view of people who do not, um, who are not interested in academics, what do you? What's your opinion? What do you think whenever you hear such a thing like someone is not interested in academics? What comes to mind, sir? Everything is part of interest. Uh, academics is not make the whole world that the different endeavors that a human being can explore. Uh, but whatever you want to do, you need a modicum of uh, educational background. Somebody wants to be a musician, if he's well learned, if he has gone to university, his mode of uh, music will be different from somebody who is a dropout. So whatever one wants to do, you need to have a firm, firm foundation uh, in terms of um, your background academically and then uh, you can go into the industry and go into politics and go into public service and even go into business or vocation uh, all forms of human endeavors uh, but your degree will put you in a better position or advantage for you to explore the world so academy is just a branch of way of life but uh, if you are, if you have a good academic background, whatever you do subsequently will be added advantage. So uh, there's a need for the youth to focus on their studies and disciplines and ensure that they attain the best. And thereafter, they can explore other forms of entrepreneurship. They can explore other forms of uh, creativity in terms of what they want to do, their passion and their likes. But there is a benchmark that is required or expected of any young one of nowadays you must have your first degree uh, even if you want to be a footballer you also need to 
because when you enter into contracts uh, with clubs, you will be able to be abreast of the rules and regulations. You'll be able to negotiate uh, with your the, the, the football club, and you'll be able to get the best offer in that regard. So education is primus, and everyone must aspire to have it, irrespective of what you want to do in future. For them to be focused, to be disciplined in their regard, so they can get the best out of the system. Thank you very much for your brilliant and thoughtful um, responses, sir. We appreciate that you granted us this interview. We can now successfully conclude the interview by saying thank you very much again, sir. Thank, no, you, thank you. Hello.